In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys my honest review of this Nomad Star Tracker from Move Shoot Move. I was recently sent this tracker to review, so I wanted to make a nice review video for you guys that's going to be honest, my total opinion. My name is Austin James Jackson, landscape photographer based in southern Utah. Um, in the last week or so, I've been out here in the Grand Teton National Park. I've been shooting a lot of night photos, messing around with this tracker and really getting a grasp of if I like this tracker or not, and if I'd recommend it to you guys. Now, now, full disclaimer before we start the video, I did want to mention that this tracker was sent to me by uh, Move Shoot Move. Um, and it was sent to me for free. There's no payment that I'm getting for this video, um, but I did get the tracker for free to review on my channel. Now, that being said, I'm going to leave a totally honest review. Um, I have no agenda whether you buy this or not. It doesn't matter to me. I'm just going to leave you an honest review of what I think about this tracker. So let's get straight to the point. Now, the first thing I want to talk about is the build quality of this thing. Um, it feels really solid. I mean, it's sturdy. It's really small is the other thing that's really nice about it, but it feels really sturdy. Now, it comes with this nice little bag that it fits perfectly inside of just like that you can see it fits pretty well in my hand here um, and this makes it really really portable now the problem that I have with it is that this bag doesn't support any of the accessories and you need the other accessories to make it work for example um, most people will go with the laser more on this later but you'll need the laser to attach to the tracker you don't have a spot to put the laser in the bag I like when I can have everything in one bag and I don't have to re-bag it because I don't want to have the accessories somewhere different and then lose the accessories forget about not bringing them you know all those things it's nice to have everything in one bag which this doesn't have so you will need to purchase a separate bag to include those accessories as well that's something to keep in mind um, and then depending on you know if you get the polar scope there's a couple other different accessories that you can get with it as well now we're going to talk a little bit about the setup I think that's one thing that a lot of people looking at this tracker are really looking at the tracker was designed to be absolutely easy to use now in all of my time shooting I've used probably eight or nine different trackers, tried all different sorts of things. And this one is definitely the easiest to use once you have it set up and once you understand how it works. The directions aren't super clear, but you can find good videos online that'll show you how to set it up. And then depending on which accessories you have, it can be easier or harder. Now for most people, I would recommend just getting the little laser attachment here. And this really easily goes on the tracker. It's super easy to use. Um, Move Shoot Move did send me the version with the polar scope here, um, which I thought I was gonna like but I didn't end up really liking it. It does set up pretty well, but I find that it's not really necessary. I find that it's not necessary because this tracker is really small and it's not gonna be a tracker that you're gonna use if you wanna do deep space. If you're gonna be shooting, you know, 200 millimeters, even further, if you're gonna be shooting galaxies, this is not the tracker for you. It's definitely a wide angle and kind of mid-range tracker. It doesn't come with a counterweight. So for that reason, I find that the scope is not really necessary. You can buy it with the scope if you want, but the laser does just enough it does just as good of a job to align to the North Star as the scope and the laser is obviously far easier to use you just turn the laser on and it's shining you don't have to worry about looking through the little scope which can be really frustrating for a lot of people now one thing to note on this tracker and on most trackers you will need multiple ball heads or you will need like a micro adjustment head um, or something to go on it so the way this tracker works it's got just your standard plate on the bottom here um, and that's gonna go on to a ball head or or on some kind of a head and then you're gonna put a head on top so you do need two heads that's something that's important to note before you buy this thing um, and I think they would probably recommend you get something um, like there's a lot of companies that make little micro adjustment heads that make it really nice to adjust honestly if you have an extra ball head I found that I was able to you know tighten the torque on the ball head to make it so that the movements were not quite so loose and then I was able to align it perfectly just fine so that's what I would recommend doing if I were you but you will need two ball heads keep that in mind now as I mentioned the thing is very easy to set up once you understand how it works you simply just put the laser on behind the tracker it points it screws in and points through this hole aims directly at the North Star super super easy to use now we're gonna get into my one big problem with this tracker and it's a really big problem and that is this laser um, I've used this laser now twice and I used the scope in another laser that I had for the couple other times I used it I used this thing twice and it's already broken the button on the the back doesn't bounce down it doesn't rebound um, and I was finding that when I was using it the first time it worked great flawlessly no problem the second time um, it didn't work very well and the third time it was totally broken so I don't know if this laser is just a cheap piece of equipment or what but it's a huge huge bummer when the laser doesn't work and who knows I could
could have just gotten the bad laser. I don't necessarily know. I haven't tested a lot of these. Just the one that I got had a bad laser on it. So I'm sure that the customer service will honor that and replace the laser, but it is a huge bummer. You just get something, the laser's broken. Now I can't use this tracker with this laser setup, which is crucial to the setup. Um, so it's really, really important that the laser works. And this one just unfortunately, I just don't think it's a high quality laser. So that was a real bummer uh, when it comes to using this device. Now, some additional features I wanna talk about. This thing has definitely uh, been simplified down from previous trackers from Move, Shoot, Move. Um, and it's one of the most simple trackers on the market. They get rid of, a lot of trackers have um, like time-lapse features. This one doesn't. Uh, this Nomad just has Southern and Northern Hemisphere star tracking. There's nothing else. There's you know no sun tracking, no moon tracking. Um, there's none of that, simply just for tracking the stars. Now you can also, um, you can see here, it's a USB-C to charge. So you can charge this device um, when you're out on the go. It doesn't have batteries inside. I've used this a few times. I haven't run the battery dead yet. So it does seem like the battery life is pretty good. For most people, a couple nights of shooting is gonna be totally fine. You can just charge it um, really easily with whatever portable battery you have or back at home. So the charging worked totally fine. All right, let's talk about who this tracker is for. Um, in my opinion, if you set aside the fact that the laser laser sucks, if they can improve the laser, um, I think this thing is really for just about any photographer that wants to shoot wide angle um, or even mid-range astrophotography shots. This thing works fantastic. It's far easier to set up than most of the trackers that I've tried on the market. I've set up a ton with people in my workshops and this one, uh, when people have it already, it is by far the easiest one to set up, especially with that laser through that hole works so, so well. I mean, you can get the polar scope if you want it, but I just don't think the polar scope is necessary. The polar scope is nice when you're shooting those really far away galaxies and you need absolute perfectly precision. Um, but for what you're doing with this tracker, um, you're not going to be able to shoot those galaxies anyways because it's not designed. It doesn't have a counterweight. It's not big enough. Um, so it really is truly just for those wide angles. So you don't need to have the precision of the polar scope. The laser will do you just fine. Size of this thing also makes it really, really travel friendly. So I think it's a good tracker for whether you're just starting and you want to learn on a system that's easy to learn or if you're someone that's been shooting a long time, you want to kind of downsize your setup to get something smaller for those wide angle astro shots. Um, I think this thing is just absolutely fantastic. So I would highly, highly recommend if the laser can get fixed, because like I said, laser is just not good and it's really a huge bummer. So if you are going to buy the Move, Shoot, Move Nomad, you can see there's a ton of packages online. They offer it with all sorts of different stuff. Assuming that you have the headlamp, the ball heads that you need and all that, I would just buy the most basic package with the tracker and the pointer. I think that'll get you everything that you need to take some really, really nice tracked images. Um, and it is relatively cheap. I think compared to a lot of other trackers on the market, it's really fairly priced. Um, so for that reason, it definitely gives you a great value for what you get. So that's what I would do. Get to that most basic package pointer, trackers, all that comes with it. That's all you need to start get started to take some really, really nice photos. All right, guys, hopefully that review was helpful for you. If you're thinking about buying the Move, Shoot, Move Nomad, um, I know it's a really great tracker, like I said, with just that one caveat that the laser is not very good. Um, if I get an update on the laser, I'll post it down below in the description, so make sure to check that. Um, but as it stands right now, the laser, not good. So. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments, if you tried this thing yourself, uh, post it down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think, how it worked for you. Um, and if you have any um, gripes or complaints or things that you really like about the tracker as well, I'd love to hear that down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Austin James Jackson. We'll see you guys next time.